Sean Winters, digital coach for Union County. Um, so this is an old Google Sheet that I had that is uh, ESS permission to stay. So these were what subjects my students would need to be staying for um, after school. And uh, this is something I kind of manage myself, but if I want to share this out, I want to make sure everybody's doing it the exact same way. And there's a new recent change that has been added to Google Sheets, and it's insert checkboxes. And so now if I had a uh, teacher or student go in and check down what they wanted, it's a really easy thing. I just insert checkbox. If you're collecting permission slips from students, this is a really handy thing. If you are doing kind of an interest inventory, um, really an easy way. And in fact, as far as uh, technology goes for uh, our district, this is something I'd want to do if I want to say, all right, do you have, put a check next to the items that you actually have in your classroom that falls under technology that are typically given out. And so this is really a real simple thing. And it, you can see, you know, it looks a little better than going through and having people mark X or actually filling out specific things. So I'm very interested in seeing different ideas that some of you might have for the use of the checkboxes. But like I said, it's really, uh, really a handy tool. You could put this right next to a um, list of student scores and put a checkbox next to ones that need a, uh, additional services or meet standards or whatever you need. But uh, very handy, guys. And uh, if you have any questions, just don't hesitate to ask. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you would, please click the like button and the subscribe so you can be up to date with any of our new videos. And thank you for uh, watching.